Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about Massachusetts Avenue, or just Mass Ave, which is easily one of Indianapolis' most famous, also culturally diverse neighborhoods that you can find. It's extremely up and coming, tons of things to do here, so we're going to get into all that in this video, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Compton. This is Living in Indianapolis. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and tap the little bell so you're notified every single time I do a new video each and every week. And honestly, I get so many calls from people moving to Indianapolis or within. So if you have questions at all about your move to Indianapolis or anything in the Indianapolis area, then please make sure that you reach out. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, any way that you want to get a hold of me. I've got your back whenever you're moving to Indianapolis. So Massachusetts Avenue is officially what it's called, but everybody here in Indy just calls it Mass Ave because it's too big a mouthful. Indianapolis is actually uh, a heck of a lot of syllables to, to say, so everybody shortens Indianapolis to Indy. So Mass Ave, it's one of the seven cultural districts that you can find in Indianapolis. And it's wildly popular for so many reasons. Of course, you can live here, and we'll get into that in just a little bit, but there's so much to do here. Uh, there's plenty of shops, there's restaurants, there's bars, you have theater here. It's kind of endless, and the history here is pretty deep as well. So Massachusetts Avenue, or Mass Ave, it's one of the, the four original diagonal streets. And so if you look at Indianapolis, most of the streets, at least a good majority of them, they run east to west and north to south. But Massachusetts Avenue, along with three of the others, are one of the diagonal streets. And as part of Indianapolis original design by Alexander Ralston in 1821, he was actually a, a surveyor that helped to put together the design for Washington, D.C. And so when you look at Washington, D.C. and Indianapolis, there's a lot of similarities in the city planning. In fact, Indianapolis is only second to Washington, D.C. as far as its war memorials are concerned. There are tons of them in Indianapolis. And actually, Alexander Ralston is a pretty interesting guy. So he did help design Washington, D.C., but he ended up moving here to Indianapolis to get away from his association with Aaron Burr. And if you don't know who Aaron Burr is, then get into your history a little bit. He's a former vice president, just surrounded by controversy. Real interesting guy. But there's also a, a brewery here, or a draft house actually, called Ralston's Draft House, which is easily one of my favorite places to go along Mass Ave. But Massachusetts Avenue up and down, just filled with things to do. So we're gonna get into some of that. Now Mass Ave is actually about a, a five block area and it ha it's just completely stuffed with unique places. Unique places like Stout Shoes, which sounds kind of strange to talk about a shoe store, but it's actually America's oldest shoe store. It's been around since 1886, so I mean, that's close to 140 years. That's pretty incredible. Also stores like Silver in the City. Silver in the City is a, a jewelry store, but a unique gift store. If you're looking for something that's completely different as a gift for somebody, then that's definitely a good place to go. But in addition to that, you've got several theaters, uh, restaurants, shops, bars, you name it. Massachusetts Avenue has all of it. Another super cool place is the Antheneum, which houses the Rathskeller and the Beer Garden. The Rathskeller is actually Indianapolis's oldest working restaurant. Incredible place. They have tons of live music, get some really cool acts in the outside beer garden. St. Joseph's Brewery, which is actually uh, an old church that's been converted into a brewery. And you can eat there and, of course, get their brewed beer there, too. Unbelievably cool place to go. The Murat Theater, I can't tell you how many shows I've seen in there. I've seen everything from Broadway shows all the way to concerts. Uh, they've got so much to offer. And Mass Ave is actually a, a huge foodie neighborhood. And if you're into super signature cocktails or even breweries, you are absolutely tripping over all of those things in this particular area. So living down here on Mass Ave, plenty of options and actually you can get into so many different price ranges here too. In fact, this building that in front of right now is the building that my wife used to live in whenever we first met. So I've been in this building countless times. It's called the Real Silk Loft, so the Real Silk Factory. It actually used to be a silk factory many, many years ago, and 
even created some of the silk that went into parachutes for bombs in World War II. So lots of history in here, but it's been converted into lofts or condos. And you can get a, a two bedroom, two bath condo in this particular building for 300,000, a little bit more than that. So fairly reasonable for the location this place is in. I mean, it is right off Mass Ave, and you can walk to everything from here. And you've got options for parking too. You've got street parking, and you could even pay for a garage and have your, your car housed. Also, you've got a building like this, which is called Mill Number no. 9. You can get a, a two bed, two bath condo in here for under $400,000. And it's similar to the real silk in that you've got these huge, industrial size windows and, and industrial feel on the inside so again a kind of a reasonable way to get into an area like Mass Ave with all the walkability or the bikeability too like today I'm rolling around on my bike you can get brownstone style townhomes two bedroom or so 2300 square feet right in that range so a little bit bigger uh, but of course you're gonna pay a little bit more for that as well so you're gonna get into that four to 450 range so many cool places that don't necessarily have yards you don't have a lot of green space but you have rooftop gardens you've got gathering areas on the rooftop and you can always go to a, a place that's nearby if you need any green space or you need to walk your dog of course or they got to go to the bathroom um, you've got some options for sure and as far as single-family detached homes you can get that. It's not gonna be anything like in the suburbs. And they are wildly varying in their price for sure. So you can get all the way over a million dollars where you can get a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired home. You can also get something cheaper than that as well. Um, although you're gonna be limited in your square footage, maybe in that two to 3,000 square foot range. But a lot of the single family detached homes aren't located right in this area of Mass Ave. You can come off of Mass Ave and get into a neighborhood called Chatham Arch, which is a neighborhood that's part of the Indianapolis Historic Preservation Commission. So if you were to make any kind of change to the outside of your house, it's one of those places where you need to clear it with them and it helps to preserve the integrity of the neighborhood. I'm sorry I'm on my bike right here right now, so I gotta look out. But in here you can get something that is certainly a little bit more reasonable. You can spend $500,000 or a little bit more, depending on what level of renovation the home's actually gone through. So if it's really renovated, you can get up to that $700,000, $800,000 range. But if it's smaller, needs a little bit more work, you might get down into that uh, $400,000 or $500,000 range. So you might find a two-bedroom home. You can even find one-bedroom homes amazingly through here uh, that are built around 1,900. And some a little bit bigger than that too, two and three-bedroom homes. And 1,200 up to 2,000 square feet. But you can get a little bit bigger than that. And even some newer homes built in the 90s or a little bit newer than that uh, in this area as well.